Hey, what's up, guys? Steve here to talk about some uh, vape mail I got yesterday. Um, I just waited a little bit because I was pretty busy yesterday with the kids and running around. And uh, my stepson came back to live with us permanently. He was at his grandparents while me and his mother figured out things and whatnot. But yeah, he's back living with us full time. So wish me luck. Say a prayer for me. <laughs> he's he'll be ten in July. So, but. I got uh, King's Custard, one shot by Mr. Wayne of DIY or Die, and I got uh, the Moon Sugar by Mr. Good Vape. Um, I gotta say, the Moon Sugar, it, it's not bad. It's uh, what they have here, a warm butterscotch sugar cookie with a hint of toasted graham cracker. But when I taste it, I get more, more of a cinnamon type flavor, cinnamon -y? If that's a word, but uh, here, let me take a bait. Yeah, I get more of a, a, a cinnamon type flavor. I don't know if that's just my uh, palate or whatnot, but that's what I get. And this tastes good right off the shake, it really does. Uh, it'll probably taste even better in two days, maybe a week. But and uh, the King's custard. They say this is a vanilla egg dairy with light butter and butterscotch and caramel. Uh, off the shake, it's not that good, but it says to wait uh, four to eight days. They said it's better after two weeks. So I know it takes time to steep because it got all the custards and everything in there, but uh, it might it might it might settle out good. So we'll see. I'll do an update on that. Also, I got their eggnog flavor. Just wanted to try it out. I like eggnog, and uh, just thought maybe I could use it in it. Eggnog, I like to. Ooh, that tastes strong. I just like that that dairy type milk uh, flavoring that eggnog has. I don't know. Maybe I'll save it for around the holidays. Make a good uh, little holiday juice and also I got oh the vanilla ice cream I love this flavor and uh, shout out to fresh for really putting me on to it because when I got my starter kit not starter kit well yeah my DIY starter kit I got it from liquid barn so I got a bunch of their flavors and as I'm going around, I'm, I'm hearing they're not that good, they're not that good. That's what got me into buying TFA and Flavor West and doing all of that. But the more I dug into it, the, the, the more I'm seeing the good flavors of Liquid Barn. Like the Blue Raspberry, that's a pretty good flavor. Uh, Pacific Cooler, that's, a, that's, that's another one. And uh, the Vanilla Ice Cream is definitely a good one. So, shout out Fresh. I like Fresh's channel. Daytime Frank and all you guys. Um, I got these two that I'm going to do later. It's the Strawberry and Creams by, uh, Man, The Man. Oh, One Hit Wonders, that's who this is. The, and then another one by Mr. Wayne DIY is the Quick. Don't know why I got the two strawberries, because I'm not really a strawberry fan. I don't know, I guess I'm one of them people that strawberry doesn't taste well on my palate. So, we'll see how I let you know how those taste. I'm trying to find a good strawberry because I want to like strawberry. I, did re I really do. Because when I, when I eat the strawberry ice creams and milkshakes, they're great. But just when I vape strawberry, it just, it just doesn't taste right with me. So, uh, another thing I got where uh, I have a VBOT ET inbox. By uh, H Cigar, love it with the DNA chip. I got the recurve on top. Uh, I got some door panels for them. I had the old ones for so long. I was just browsing the internet and I saw I love the skull with the purple top, and I just saw uh, these doors and they were only six dollars. So I said, let me change it up, and I got these ones with a. I don't know what you would call this guy. A uh, uh, the shadow's not too good. 
I don't know what you call him. Like a mythical warrior or whatnot. But yeah, I always keep things coming. I always keep the things coming because these are pretty handy. And these were just the old ones. Oh, hey. And these were just the old ones. If you can see, just plain black. Not very good uh, lighting. I'm sorry. And uh, also Liquid Barn Nicotine. I love Liquid Barn Nicotine. It's very, I get it in PG base. It's only 48. I haven't stepped up to the 100 milligram yet. I feel 48 is a good one for me and I'll break them down. I also got these bottles if anyone needs bottles. These are great ones with the tops. I got the 500 and the 225s. Oh, and the star of the show, little Pete, Pete the cat here. Say hi, everybody. Hey, Pete. All right, buddy. Thanks for interrupting. But uh, yeah, liquid bar nic nicotine is great. I get in a PG based, so it's more watery and easier to work with. I'll put it in a small. I actually put them in small bottles like this, so it's easier for me to drip in instead of dumping the whole bottle over or whatnot. But I'll get on to this and I'll put this, I'll break that down. Uh, what else did I get? I got a bunch of these liquid bar stickers. I don't know if you guys saw them. They say, uh, warning, this, pro this product is made from tobacco. And supposedly it's a, it's a gimmick. They want you to post it on stuff to, to poke fun at the FDA and, and make it a, uh, make it a mockery, I guess you would say, other ridiculous regulations they pass. I also got one of the uh, little hand towels I got. Come to find out that, that, that paper towels don't take off uh, juice as well. <laughs> so I got a thicker towel here. Uh, yeah, so that's that was my weekend. I've, ha I've been having a good weekend with the kid here, and uh, he's a great kid. And uh, we raised him well. I know him since I uh, met him when he was three. His uh, his father actually passed away from uh, a drug addiction. He passed away last year. So uh, that's pretty rough. So as everybody knows, I'm in recovery myself and uh, just trying to stay grateful every day. Uh, I found vaping and I fell in love with it, man. Like. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe the building, the coils, the uh, the tinkering with stuff, I guess. I was a big tinkerer growing up, so maybe that's what it is. And I love smoking. So put those things together and, and you got this. And I love flavors. And I found out I love flavors. And another thing I like, uh, saving money. I like saving money. That juice was getting a little steep for me, but... Uh, I'm in the, trying to get a new mod now, maybe a new, um, I was looking at the, 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 what is that, the Aug Vape, um, I don't know, the one with the clamp, the T-clamp, and it presses down, I can't think of what it's called right now, but, uh, I was thinking about getting one of those, or, 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 um, a little small RSA, I know, I don't like calling them RSAs, because it's just a RDA smaller, but, um, I guess if it's pre-installed with the squonk pin, you can call it an RSA. Um, I've gotten into squonking a little bit. Um, that's why tomorrow I'll have the Rage. Hopefully to show off to you guys. Brand new out the box. Um, so, we'll let that know. Let, let you know on that. So, um, everybody just have a great day. Uh, if you need coils, go to yetiswire.com. He has great coils and he's a great guy. Uh, check out Black Hat White Faces show every day at 5 p.m. Check him out on YouTube, Black Face. Uh, Black Cat White Face. There you go. Black Cat White Face. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. And uh, Drop the Shame on Yeti's channel uh, Saturday nights. Um, it's about dropping the shame of addiction and recovery and uh, all that. And that's another thing I would love to incorporate recovery with vaping in a community. I know there's a lot of us out there that vaping really helped us with, 
with uh, addiction problems, and that would be a great thing to uh, to dive into. So, um, all right, guys. Until next time, hit the subscribe button. Uh, show me some love. Uh, question of the day: What's your favorite juice? Uh, what are you vaping on right now? Quick and easy. Just uh, let me know. Um, I'll put my email in the in the description and some websites you might check out to support the community we got going in, in Facebook and YouTube. So uh, until next time, everybody be grateful and uh, have a blessed day. Peace.